Batman Forever Part 15 2021 Season Conclusion Batman Forever Part 15 2021 Season Conclusion Okay, now that's that's what's gone on in the Batman Forever Part 3 to Part, or this part as well, I suppose, Part 15, um, is the 2021 season of Batman Forever. So it's uh, 2021 season, honestly. I suppose season two, theoretically, after all the, after a few a few years later, after the first couple of stories of Dark Fury, part one and part two. So this is essentially the 2021 season's conclusion. Now, um, well, what's gone on? We've we've had the uh, the the four main villains sort of um, having a go at Batman, and essentially they were keeping him distracted for a while, keeping trying to keep his attention away from what was going on in the world somewhat, keeping him busy so that he wouldn't take notice. As uh, Dark Fury went about his, his plans to sort of take over the world, you know, and uh, <laughs> he sort of, um, <sighs> what you see is what you get from Dark Fury. Like I was saying that last night, what you see is what you get. He's a, uh, he's, um, <sighs> weirdly enough, he's genuine enough in his mentality. It's, it's not quite crooked, you know, just um, just sees it the way he sees it, I suppose, is Dark Fury's thing. It's, it's just the way he sort of sees things a bit. Uh, Bruce Wayne thinks he's a bit misaligned, you know, hasn't really quite got a grip on reality is, is in the way that Bruce Wayne sees the world. So those were the adventures which took place in the 2021 season. And basically, uh, after his conversations of a mile high club with Dark Fury, Bruce Wayne sort of retired to Wayne Manor and sort of not really any more adventures going on, but just sort of chat, chit chats. His usual work for Wayne Corps and um, what's possibly going on soon enough is that uh, he's making the acquaintances of uh, Ghostmaker again. And um, Clown Hunter and Punchline and things and uh, uh, things like that. And um, there's a bit of adventure with that. And uh, in this DC Noah universe, which sort of parallels the standard DC universe somewhat, it's sort of the same sort of story to an extent uh, with extra details, which is the DC Noah stuff. Um Wayne is probably sort of, um, well, um, he's out of Wayne Manor for the time being, and he's sort of <sighs> lost his fortune, and he's he's renting what, what was called a brownstone house or something, I think, of the comics down in down, downtown Gotham. So, apart from what's going on in DC now, which I suppose is probably sort of uh, probably set sort of um, it might even be set after the, the events of sort of Batman 10 after the, the Miracle Molly stuff or something like that sort of uh, fil this, this, this dark through stuff filters in somewhere around there and uh, but um, I don't know no probably not because the way man is involved and he's back in Wayne Manor, so it's probably set, uh, probably, I guess, uh, before he loses his fortune, I guess. And, um, so early 2021 of these adventures, I guess, and um, sort of fitted into the James Tynan canon, early 2021, so before he really loses his fortune, and he's in even late 2020, I guess, I can't remember exactly when that happened, but... Um, before he loses his fortune and um, still doing Batman sort of stuff uh, as Bruce Wayne from Wayne Manor. But uh, what happens um, sort of after certain points is that, you know, the, the standard canon in Batman sort of comes into the story. So, you know, th this section of Batman history is sort of 
complete enough. And these are events which sort of fit in as, I suppose, Legends of a Dark Knight, sort of in between the bits and pieces of stuff which is going on in the regular Batman sort of world. So, you know, it's sort of... Um, we don't have to be canonically perfect with DC Noah fan fiction now, do we? You know, I mean, just sort of that it it fits in as best we can. It doesn't have to be perfect, and well, it's only comics in the end anyway. You know, I mean, 